Hey, how's it going? Well, in regard to James Charles and the whole tatty thing, I wasn't able to watch the entire tatty video. It's like 43 minutes long. It, it, she goes on and on and on about some of the same things. Oh, she feels betrayed because uh, he went he he went with another brand, and even though he said uh, he didn't want to do her vitamins on his channel or promote her vitamins, but up uh, oh, he went and and went with another company. They're competing company. Up, oh, she's so betrayed. Uh, she she mentored him and all that stuff, right? And. It just kind of seems like that's the main thing she's pissy about. And that his sexual escapades in uh, him harassing straight guys, you know, sexually harassing, sexually assaulting straight guys, trying to sexually manipulate straight guys into having sex with him. Um, you know, it seems like, well, it seems that she wouldn't have ever reported that in any sort of video unless she felt betrayed in some other way, and, and it's, well, I guess I'll just say it all, you know. But, the, but I didn't watch the whole thing initially. I, I mean, I don't even, I can't even say initially, I didn't watch the whole thing. But I did watch commentary videos. Um, Weebo Jones has a really good video about it. Uh, Jacqueline Glenn has a really good video about it. And they gave some timestamps. So uh, somewhere around 23 minutes in, uh, Tati actually goes into the, for only about four minutes, Tati goes into some of the things that were messed up that, that James Charles did. But the thing is, James Charles has talked about these things blatantly for a long time. He's made videos about it. He's made social media posts about it about him, you know, essentially trying to manipulate straight guys into having sex with him. Trying to get in the pants of straight guys. Him essentially sexually harassing straight guys. Sexually assaulting straight guys, to some degree. Bragging about that kind of behavior. And what strikes me is that nobody seemed to have a problem with him, you know, before this whole drama came up. And that's kind of concerning. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a thing for a while. People have different standards for how they react to when a guy is sexually harassed than when a woman is sexually harassed. You know, I think about that Gillette ad uh, where, you know, there's, there's a guy that was just going to walk towards a woman that he found attractive and this other guy stops him. No, no, not cool, man. You know, and we're, we're supposed to digest that message, but some guy gets harassed by another gay man, not another gay man, a, a guy gets harassed by a gay man, and we're just supposed to be, oh, haha, -ha, funny gay man, haha, -ha, funny. You know? Why is that? Why can a teacher sexually assault or sexually harass or sexually manipulate a 12-year-old boy and she just gets a slap on the wrist. Why is that the case? Is it because people assume that the boy wanted it? You know, why do people assume... Why do people treat men so much differently? Men and boys so much differently in this regard? Is it because of physical stature? Well, that's certainly not the case with the, the adult woman uh, har sexually harassing a, a, a young boy. And, you know, I mean, besides, we're, we're supposed to look at men and women as physically the same because, you know, we're supposed to accept the idea of trans women competing with cis women in sports as, oh, that's just all fine and dandy because, no, no, oh, if, you, if you say that they're, they're physically different, you're denying that they're a woman. You're saying they're not a real woman. And that's transphobic, right? But maybe there's another part about this when it comes to why there's no, uh, people have 
uh, you know, double standards in their reactions. Maybe it's because there's a number of people out there who feel that, well, women have put up with being sexually harassed for a long time. It's about time men have to put up with it as well. Kind of a revenge thing? Is that part of it? I don't know. But it's funny how once the drama came up with this, this James Charles stuff, once the drama came up, suddenly now people are offended. Oh, they're, that's terrible behavior of, of, on his part. Why didn't you feel that way before? He had how, how many million subscribers? What, 12 million or something? 16 million? I can't even remember. How many subscribers did he have before? You know, no one was offended then, but once the drama comes out, suddenly everyone's offended. I'm not, I'm not buying some of these, some of these people's outrage now when they weren't before. Now, maybe this will get the conversation going as to why we have these double standards, you know? I mean, like I said, someone, someone just doing a wolf whistle to, to a woman. Oh, that's terrible. But, but a, a guy can go, come up and grab someone's crotch and they're not supposed to react in a terrible way. Why is that? Why do you think that is? Why do we have these double standards? Especially when people are trying to push that we're supposed to treat men and women the same. Why are these double standards there? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.